Winter is coming to UC Berkeley, and it has nothing to do with the changing seasons. A new class is delving into HBO's popular medieval fantasy drama Game of Thrones as part of its film studies program. Having the opportunity to, you know, watch a TV series that's still in the making and it's so popular, I just thought it'd be a really great opportunity to, why not take advantage of it? Her melodramatic moment rises the suffering. Although the class does delve deep into the Seven Kingdoms, it's not just about knowing the difference between a wilding and a white walker, or whether Jon Snow is really still alive. He gave his sword to Snow. The students discuss the modern social and political implications of Game of Thrones, including religion, poverty, and the show's portrayal of women. The class also harkens back to themes from Shakespeare and studies of ancient Greece. No, you don't never us. Instructor Justin Vaccaro says one of the reasons the show has been so popular is its unpredictability. Yeah, you become really invested in a way you can't with, with shows where you know, oh, this is these people live, these people die, these people succeed even. Um, and it's been really good from the get-go. Elsewhere on campus, students can study the fossilized remains of real dire wolves retrieved from the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles a century ago. Depicted on Game of Thrones as loyal yet menacing protectors of some of the main characters, many fans assume dire wolves are mythical creatures. But the extinct animals were at one time very real, living in the Ice Age along with the woolly mammoth. Game of Thrones, their dire wolves are depicted in some scenes almost as big as like a pony or a small horse. Real dire wolves were just slightly bigger than gray wolves. As for the dragons, the university is still pretty sure those are not real. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Berkeley, California.